Hello people! Before I show you what I created, I want to talk about how we perceive art. There are generally two groups of people. One sees the meaning of art in the subjective perception of an art object and what emotions it evokes. The second group wants to know what the artist meant and wants to hear a backstory, which is exactly what I'm going to introduce to you right now, without your choice. About four years ago, I ran to catch a bus and I slipped and I dropped my laptop. The display cracked, which was not a tragedy since it could be easily replaced for a new one. Since I am a curious guy, I disassembled broken display to see those liquid crystals. <laughs> what? And of course they can't be seen. But I ended up with a lot of electronic waste. So I created this little fella out of the waste and some cardboard. The main theme is the clash of religion and technology. But it can also mean a lot of other things. And the name is quite obvious, isn't it? The frame is made of beechwood. My father once again helped me to manufacture it. After gluing the parts together, I drilled and chiseled holes for cables and switch. The wood is treated with multiple coats of oil. This is how the original saint looked like. After I decided I will make him interactive with Arduino, I added some more parts from old CPU cooling fan. I made holes for LEDs and push buttons, and I also made the holy book openable with cardboard casing from the backside. Inside the book are sacred texts, enlightened with RGB LED. Wooden ribs were made to fasten the piece to the frame. I soldered LED strips together with cables and attached it along the frame. I also used hot glue gun to attach push buttons to its place. I made a wooden mount for SG90 servo and soldered a wire shaft to drive open the book. I filed one side of the iron rod of this old 10k ohm potentiometer flat, so the knob could be added. Turning the knob will control different states, as I will explain later. I made a mount for Arduino board to be easily attached and detached. After everything was ready, I could start to solder every electronic parts together. Here is just a clip of me flexing that I can solder. Nice. Since Arduino board has only three ground pins, I needed to make adapters to connect it all to the board. I also used hot glue gun to insulate everything. And this is how it looks like finished from the back side. You can see that almost every pin on Arduino board is used. And everything seems to work just fine. This is how final circuit looks like, with connections to Arduino board. Code is basically few functions run by compound if statements, so it's rather simple. But I must admit, I spent a lot of time learning and trying different codes, since I am beginner to Arduino. If you have any questions regarding the code, let me know. The Hikona has on-off switch, potentiometer, by which you can choose in between three states, and three buttons, A, B and C by which combination you get nine functions. Quick maths. These are three functions for button A, which controls the blinking eye and the buzzer.
Button B is used to control lights in the frame. The patterns and the colors can be easily changed in the code. The last button controls servo and the RGB LED hidden in the Holy Bible. Absolutely not. It's completely useless. Anyway, thank you for watching.